This tube was in place between the inlet uh, on the boat and all the way around to the cooler for the transmission, the velvet drive transmission. Um, I cut these open. You have to basically cut these open at the end in order to get them off and discovered that this had no wire inside. This was unreinforced uh, hose. It doesn't even look like it's marine hose. And that's where I started with this thing. The problem is that I got the wrong size clamps. So I'm gonna have to take these off and replace them with smaller ones. And then uh, I um, decided to add a raw water filter. So it uh, wasn't obvious where to plug it until I got up around this, uh, what I'm calling the false uh, or pseudo firewall. And there was a bracket there. So perhaps there was a uh, raw water filter here before. I just don't know, but it's a perfect place for it. I can easily maintain it, clean it. And another thing is it's above the water line. So if there is any siphoning problem downstream towards the en engine of this filter, um, all I have to do is crack the filter here and that'll break the, uh, the siphon. So uh, I think that's a good place for it. Again, the hose clamps are the wrong size. Now, from there, it goes into this cooler down here. And this cooler has lines that go over into the velvet drive to cool it. And these hoses are old also. And I wasn't really going to replace them. Uh, I was going to try to run it without replacing them, uh, at least initially. But the problem is that this lower fixture right down here, somebody used a pair of pliers on and squared it off. So the hose won't fit properly. And it probably, because it's on the suction side, draws air. And that probably causes the motor to run hot. So this whole cooling system um, side uh, has been compromised by first by the wrong kind of hose and secondly by this square fitting. So uh, today's journey is going to be to take that whole thing off, take the hoses off and take the hoses down I'm going to try Napa Auto first and have them make new hoses up for me. And in the meantime, this looks like it's copper. And I think I can fix the end of it, take it down in the shop and work on it. So that's today's um, activity. So. Thanks for watching again. Project is a project is a project. And uh, hopefully, once I get past that, um, we can move on up to the cooling for the rest of the motor.